Okay, third and fourth grade. We were working on our Claire West Owl last week. Um, this week we're gonna add some Crayon Resist and then we're gonna watercolor it. Crayon Resist is where we put crayon in places that we don't want the watercolor to go on. So like on the branch, I can put some lines to make it look woody. Um, on the bird itself, I can add some black in places to make it look like he's got feathers. I can use the white to outline his tummy to keep his tummy white when we start painting. Now, I don't know if you remember the pictures from Claire, Claire West. Her um, uh, owls were done in some, some wild and crazy colors. So your owl does not have to be done realistically if you don't want it that way. Um, but we do need to figure out whatever colors you're using, you're gonna want to put some crayon, outline the places. This is gonna keep my orange in his nose and the orange color in his feet when I put the watercolor in here. That way we're not having color kind of go everywhere. Um, you might want to pick a crayon color to do his eyes. You don't have to. You can use watercolor if you want to. Um, I also took a crayon and like I gave myself a moon. And then I came through and did some stars. You can do it in white or the yellow. Okay. Once you've gone through and you've given your um, owl some texture. You've put color in places so that it looks like he's got feathers. Okay, I might put some yellow here between his eyes still. I'm just playing about where I want where. Maybe some lines that look like feathers in his tail. And then I will get my paintbrush and get it wet. Put it in the color you want. We want to start light colors first. So if I do his beak orange, I'm going to get, his, get my paint in the orange and then come in and layer in the colors I want where I want them. And the reason we go light to dark is that that way our colors don't get yucky and mixed up. Like right now, if I were to go straight over to the yellow, you can see there's a little bit of green in my yellow. It would change that color, and we don't wanna do that, okay? Um, the wood is gonna be brown. So I got brown on my paintbrush, and I can come in and paint it. Now this brown is kind of a reddish brown. If you want your brown to be a darker brown for somewhere else, you can mix a little bit, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. When it starts drying out, add some more water. It'll help spread the paint. But again, you don't want things too wet because then your paper might fall apart. Okay, so just be real careful. Wet enough to spread the paint, not wet enough to make your paper fall apart. All right, I'm gonna show you how to mix some colors. So brown, I want a darker brown. This brown we've already seen is a light color brown. What you're gonna do is add water to the brown. I hope this is coming up. Oh, nope, there it is. Add some water to the brown. And then if you have a paper plate, I've got a styrofoam plate, but it can work on a regular paper plate too. Put your brown color up here. So you can see this is the same color as right down there. Then you're gonna wash your brush in clean water. Um, if you want to make certain it's good and clean, get a paper towel. I've got a Kleenex and wipe, and you'll see if it comes up. If it had brown in it, I would rinse it again. It doesn't. Then come over and pick up a little bit of your black. My black is already wet, and then you can add it and mix it on your plate. That way your colors and your watercolor tray doesn't get mixed up. But now when I paint, and I'm going to add it here to the wing, you can see it's a darker brown. And then you can see where the watercolor, I'm mean, excuse me, the crayon starts coming up through the paint. Okay. 
and I'll put this color wherever I want. And when it starts drying up, I get a little more water on my brush so I can kind of spread my color out a little bit more. Okay. And that's how you watercolor. So you're gonna color the whole picture. Um, the background, the owl, your owl can be any colors you want. I don't I have no problem with fantasy owls that are different colors. Um, the sky though, if you want your, your owls come out at night. If you want your sky to look more like a nighttime sky, the blue in most of the trays are, are, is a light blue. That's not really a nighttime color. And so if you want it to look darker, I'm gonna get some more on my plate. Just like I added some black to the brown, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of purple and add it to my blue and mix it. And that's gonna change it to a different blue. And if you like that blue, you can use it. I'm gonna use a little bit over here so you can see what it looks like on the paper. But it still doesn't look nighttimey to me. So if I want mine to look a little more nighttimey, at this point I'd come over and I would add a little bit black and mix just a dab of black to it. And then when I use it, you can see it's even a more dark color. If I put it on my moon, it's gonna darken my moon down. Now it kinda looks like there's a cloud going over my moon. If I did too much, like I did here, and I don't like it, I can get my paper towel and come over and wipe some of it off. And then my moon is showing up more of that golden yellow, okay? So you'll just have to play with the colors, see what you like, um, get an extra piece of paper if you wanna see what the colors look like before you put it on your picture. That way you can practice on a blank piece of paper. Write your name at the bottom and take a picture of it and send to me. Third grade, this picture is going to be, and here's another version that's almost done. This picture is going to be your, um, your art gallery piece. And so remember every year we have an art gallery um, at the end of the school year where your artwork is shown in a frame we frame it up and we hang it up and parents can come up and see your work and then they can make a donation to buy your work inside the frame. If you're a virtual student and you want your artwork to be shown in the frame and you are a third grader, return this artwork to my green tub. It's kind of a teal green tub on the front porch of the school and I will get it matted and framed, but I need your first and last name so I can make certain I have your name correct when I hang it up. Fourth grade, we did the um, the Mary Blair house. That was the house, the architectural house, looked like a Victorian house. If, same with you. That's what needs to be returned to me so I can frame it and put it in the art show. So again, fourth grade, on your Mary Blair house, write your name at the bottom, first and last. And if you want your artwork shown in the art show, return it to me. If you don't return it into that box, I won't have it and it won't be in the art show, okay? Y'all have a good day. Talk to you soon.